this is Vicki with Brick After Brick Toys. Welcome back. So happy to have you here. We have some chill music going on because we are going to be doing the Lego City People Pack Outdoor Adventures. Yep, I finally got around to it. I've had this in my backlog for a while, but I love it because it just adds like 15 minifigures and that eagle. So you really get some cool things in this set. And I want to, of course, show you the tent and all the other great equipment. But first, we have to start with Lego Rain! <laughs> because you can't have an outdoor adventure without having some Lego Rain to get the equipment started and get those people together. Hey, just in case you want to try to build some of these equipment pieces or some of these minifigs, I put all of it out on my table so that you can see all the different pieces that are involved. I bet you have most of these pieces right in your collection already. So except for the tent itself and you know maybe that uh, that boat or the bicycle or the eagle, then you're probably going to have a lot of these pieces already and you can build this. So I love the fact that Lego put this great thing in the back of the book. It's literally different ways to create different people with this. You don't have to just create the, um, the build that they tell you to create. You can do lots of different things. So here's a few um, of the different build. All right, so I literally took the book and I created the looks that they, the alternate looks that they gave you. But when it comes to building things, I'm going to go ahead and build it just like it tells you in the instruction manual. So these are some of the minifigs the way they could look. And in a second, we're going to start with the way they do look as you build through the instruction booklet. <laughs> okay, here's the first one. I love this. She's a photographer. And look at that totally cool camera. Lego did an awesome job designing a very complicated looking camera. And of course you need something like that if you're going to be filming an eagle or some outdoor wildlife. That's a beautiful eagle. <gasps> but oh, we shouldn't have left him with that fish alone. Uh oh. Okay, here are some kids and a dad, obviously. And the little baby counts as the 15th minifigure, so I'm just um, letting you know it's it's a tiny little minifigure, but I love the fact that they included a front pack because so many dads and moms wear those front packs now and that is just Lego trying to keep up with us and all the fun things that we do. Oh yeah, I love this little build. Look at those eggs! Totally cool. Those are awesome. And of course, it's nice to have um, some short people, <laughs> some little people with their shorts and stuff. So it'll make it more interesting in your city if you have some variety and if you want to create some sick figs. But these people are camping, so she's got a water bottle and he's got some eggs. Eggs are perfect for camping, aren't they? All right, let's take a look at the next people. These people are definitely, they look cool. And look at that, they all have two faces. That is so nice. So if you're doing um, action and adventure or you're doing um, some sort of videos, you have lots of alternative choices. And I love the hair on the far right lady, the, the older lady. She has really cool hair. That's awesome. All right. And look at the guy with the selfie stick. He's such a tourist. Total tourist. And the lady with the cell phone too. All right. This is super fun. Look at that little girl, I love her outfit. So cute, and the little blonde ponytail is terrific. And how about the guy with the orange uh, workout suit? That's great. All right, but we're gonna build the, the, the sign. How cool is that? And the guy in the middle, of course, is using some walking sticks. Oh, it looks like someone has mud on her face. All right, this is a great character. This is like, it's a girl, first of all. You can change the head out if you want it to be a boy. But this is a girl, and she's got a mountain bike. Awesome! Do you have a mountain bike? Hey, leave us a comment below. What's your favorite fun thing to do in the summertime? I mean, I love hiking. That is so fun for me. And I used to mountain bike all the time, but, you know, broken bones and all that. 
Um, so, but anyway, cool helmet with the visor and everything. I think this is a great little minifig with, um, with an awesome piece of equipment. That is definitely a cool mountain bike. <laughs> Wanted to show you a little action. <laughs> this mountain bike is definitely fun. Okay, the next part is building a log because you might use the log for jumping over with that mountain bike or you might use it for chopping if you're chopping some firewood. But this is definitely that crazy mountain biker is going to go up over there. Awesome. So fun. I'm sure you can build a really cool like country park scene or mountain park scene and make a, a jump for a motorbike or a um, you know a mini bike or one of these awesome mountain bikes. All right back to work it looks like a father and son going on a little rafting trip and they've got to have these life vests on to stay safe of course got their canoe paddles and helmets. Oh, heaven forbid, you might hit your head on a rock or something. Ah! All right, what's next? Oh, it's a rock climbing wall. <laughs> this actually is supposed to be a little mini mountain where you do some rock climbing, but you know, um, it's pretty small, <laughs> but it, it's certainly useful. And one of the next best parts of this whole thing is the tent. Check it out. I bet you have these pieces, except for the vinyl tent piece. You've got all these other pieces. You might be able to come up with something creative where you create a tent. I don't know, using even a paper towel or something, you might be able to do it. Create some artwork. There's a challenge for you. <laughs> Anybody who's listening and wants a challenge, see if you can create a tent without the vinyl, without the plastic part. See if you can come up with something cool because you probably have all those pieces. Oh, but here goes the grandma. She's checking on those kids. Oh, come on, you kids, get up. It's time to get up. Oh, there's the little girl. She's super excited. She's trying to get that teenager out of bed. Do you have that problem at your house? Teenagers want to sleep till noon, even when they're camping. All right. Grandma says, it's time for breakfast. Uh, uh, if she's at my campsite, she's probably banging on that frying pan with a spoon. Anyway, she's making breakfast, but look what happens. Uh, suddenly, everybody wants breakfast, right? <laughs> Isn't that what happens? Everybody and their brother starts stopping by. Oh, you've got donuts? Great. Oh, here's some, here's some hot chocolate. Oh, you guys have orange juice? All right, sure. So everybody starts stopping by. Even the guy with the selfie stick is getting involved. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looks like a typical camping trip, doesn't it? The whole crew stopping by for breakfast. <laughs> or lunch, or dinner, or snack time, or hey, the only thing they messed up on this, they didn't give us the s'mores, right? We have to have s'mores when you're camping, so I'm sure you can figure that one out. But this, I thought this was an awesome build and totally fun for summer. I wanted to get it out there before summer's over. <laughs> so hope you're having a great summer and thanks for stopping by and have fun building your Lego world. <laughs>